Alright, what uh, I want to show today is just my reloading setup for 223. Um, what I'm reloading is just factory, mostly Winchester brass. Um, if you see one get kind of locked up in here, that would be a uh, cellular and belly. I, for some reason, my AR rips the head up of those pretty good, so they don't they don't go so smooth into my shell holder. But basically, what I have here is just the Lee um, turret press. I've got the powder thrower rifle die with their just I don't know what it's called safety powder thrower something. It's got the adjustable charge um, little insert there, and I've got it maxed all the way out to about 1.6 cc's, and that'll throw 24 grains of my ball powder I'm using. I have the seating die set at the correct depth already, and the crimp die. This here is the, um, it's just an excising die. I've taken the decap pin out. I just run the shell up into it. I don't actually go all the way, so it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I may as well take that die out. Um, that's there for my, I have a bolt action 223 also, so that's why it's in there. Um, but I have my brass, it's already sized um, and primed and cleaned. I do that as a separate step. I run it my full length size around single stage press and then I uh, size it and clean it. So that's all done in one step. I find it quicker that way. I run it all through the single stage just full length sizing. Prime it in front of the TV with just a little hand primer and that uh, seems to work well. So the brass is ready to go already. As you can see it's primed. Um, now I have my powder thrower set up like I said, and I use 55 grain Hornady Full Metal Jacket boat tail. Um, just fairly standard stuff here. I'm not doing anything crazy. Now, what I've done to help speed things up is I put this little ramp on a plastic tray. It's just riveted on and bent up a little to clear everything here. And this is Velcro to the desk because it kind of has to hang over a little. And if you get all your shells piling up here, it could knock it over. So I got Velcro at the front here. Um, Everything's set up ready to go, so I thought I would show you just how quick reloading on a turret press can be. Now, I'm not going to pound through this as quick as I can do. Um, I like to check the powder, make sure it's throwing. I have had an accident where I get, you know, I'm watching TV or something, I put the bullet on before it goes into the powder thing, and then it lodges the bullet up in here, and you get no powder in your shell. That's pretty easy to pick up on because it starts spilling out the top, but I still like to watch, make sure I'm getting a... Uh, powder throw or a good charge in there. I measure how this thing throws with this powder like 10-15 times in a row generally before I start like a load of a thousand shells and it, it throws really consistently right from the top to the bottom. It's only actually about a 0.1 of a grain difference. I can't believe how accurate this powder throws in this thing. It doesn't spill too much unless I mess something up and spill it everywhere. That's a super fine grain ball powder. It's accurate arms 2230. It pours like water, so uh, I think it's a great powder. Seems to shoot well on my guns too. So enough talk. I'm going to start loading. Um, like I said, this is the neck sizing die. Basically just run it up in there, throw my bullet on, throw it into my cedar, crimp die, and uh, as you can see there, it comes out nice and goes right into my uh, little tray. If you concentrate, you can go a lot faster than I go. I just uh, kind of like to keep an eye on things as it goes along. But you can crank them out pretty quick. Not as quick as a progressive, but uh, yeah, you're getting up there. And I've only done couple hundred rounds with this setup, so I'm sure uh, with time you get faster. I wish you could get an auto-indexing three-die lead turret press. I think that would speed things up a lot. Instead of having this station here, which I don't do anything in, I just run the uh, bullet up into you wouldn't, you wouldn't have this station right there. You'd just have it go right to your powder throw. you put your bullet on, seat the bullet, crimp it, and you'd be back to start again instead of doing this stuff. But as you can see, uh, it's pretty quick. Not 
too bad. I, I was thinking I'd go to a progressive setup, um, the Wii Pro 1000, because it is, I'd only use the three stations still. But, you know, I think this is about as fast as I can pay attention to things. Gets going much faster than this, and I don't, I don't really think I could uh, pay attention enough. So it seems to do the trick for me. I just, uh, just have an AR. Uh, it's nothing fancy. In fact, it's really unfancy. Just an M4 style. But this ammo seems to shoot well in it. It eats it all day long. And uh, I have a couple thousand pieces of brass. I wouldn't mind loading up and just putting them in some ammo boxes. And that would last me a year or so. But uh, basically, Sunday mornings or something while I'm doing laundry, I'll come down here and load 100 or 200 rounds, and then my laundry's done. I go out and do fun stuff. Yeah, I think I'll uh, probably end this here. You can kind of get an idea of how fast you can go along here with the uh, turret press. And you know, you're making good ammo. You gotta add in the time of. Uh, pulling, sizing, and trimming everything and priming, but that doesn't take too long. Uh, actually, to be honest, it's probably the longest part of doing this. This stuff here isn't, isn't too bad compared to sizing. That's for sure. Anyways, that should give you an idea. Fast. Uh, oh, there you go. See, there's a the mistake you can make. I'm trying to talk and think about what I'm going to say. I forgot to put a bullet on. That's why it really pays. you got to pay attention when you're doing this stuff. Uh, especially when you're moving along at a pretty good clip. I like to... Uh, I find if I mess something up, I, I continue to mess up for the next couple of